guys, today I'm going to have experiment about the amount of carbon dioxide collected by reacting vinegar and baking soda. I will differ the amount of baking soda and see the difference in amount of carbon dioxide collected. These are the apparatus we need. First, we need baking soda, vinegar, measuring cup, and measuring spoon, and beaker, a 500 milliliter of plastic bottle, and the plastic bag, and a big water top, and then the balance. So let's get started. First, I'm going to measure 100 milliliter of vinegar and add the plastic bottle. As you can see, it is 1.4 grams of baking soda. For the next step, cut the edge of the plastic bag and then add the baking soda into cutted segment and then we'll put this segment inside the bottle with vinegar. We use plastic bag because if we add baking soda directly into vinegar, it will act vigorously and some, some carbon dioxide form might be escaped. So, before we react both substances by shaking the bottle, we should cover the tap as tightly as we could. Now we should shake this bottle to react both substances. Now to test the amount of carbon dioxide collected in the plastic bottle, I filled half of the top with water and then the beaker 500 milliliter. Now I'll submerge this beaker upside down in the top and we move the lid of the beaker inside the water of the top. Now for the last step, we will Measure the amount of carbon dioxide um, collected in the plastic bottle. As you can feel that carbon dioxide is filled in plastic bottle by pressing the bottle. We will lift up the speaker, but the mouth of the beaker should be inside the water level. And then we will link this mouth of both beaker and plastic bottle together and then open the tap of the plastic bottle inside the water to make sure that carbon dioxide collected in bottle is moved to the beaker. So let's try this. So to calculate the amount of carbon dioxide collected, uh, first we sub submerge the beaker upside down right so the 500 milliliter shows 200 milliliters here, but the amount is same. And then when we link this two beaker and bottle together, and carbon dioxide will move the beaker, the amount of water in beaker will be decreased due to carbon dioxide. And then the water level in the top and in the beaker will be the same. So. Let's try this. Okay. 
So I failed for the first trial. I found the mistake that I didn't put, didn't fill the whole beaker with water. So now I filled the whole beaker with water, which is 750 milliliters. So the bottle that I previously used was a bit long, so I changed to shorter one. And then uh, the baking soda and vinegar is already reacted inside the bottle. So, I, so that I can feel the carbon dioxide is filled in bottle. So I'll do the second trial to collect the amount of carbon dioxide. Let's try now. As we can see, the water level is decreased to 350, so we can know that carbon dioxide collected is 350 milliliters. To make sure, we will try another trial. So now, let's try the third trial. So we tried the third trial and then we can see now the water level is the same inside the beaker and outside the top. And we can also check that the amount of carbon dioxide collected is same as second trial which is 350. I'll collect the amount of carbon dioxide formed with 1 over 2 baking soda. Uh, in other than baking soda, nothing has changed. Let's try this. So for 1 over 2 tablespoon of baking soda, we collected 450 milliliter of carbon dioxide. So now we're testing for 0 0.7 grams of baking soda, which is 1 over 8 teaspoon. Let's get started. made another 0 0.7 baking soda solution with vinegar to check the amount of carbon dioxide collected. We'll try this now. According to the ratio, I expected it would be like 250 milliliters of carbon dioxide, but f almost 400 has been made. So I think the mistake was the vinegar. In the middle of the experiment, I added vinegar for cooking of health since the vinegar previously used was run out. So I'll try with this 0 0.7 grams of baking soda again next time to check whether if it's matching with the ratio or not.